system, the lymphatic system. So basically, it's a network of vessels, tissues, and nodes. The three major functions of the lymphatic system are like it returns leaked plasma, the fluid and blood vessels, from tissue spaces to heart to the heart. And uh, the second function is like security checkpoints, like the lymph nodes and the spleen. And it takes action against infectious invade slash invading microbes, cancer cells, and foreign objects. And the third one is like blood vessels, like they're too small to pick up large fat molecules. So the lymphatic vessels, which are called lacteal, pick up fat from the small intestines. What about, what about some organs that constitute it? Oh, it's like the spleen. Spleen is a really good one. Okay. Anyways, as Rainier was saying, um, there's a circulation pathway for uh, the leaked nutrients um, in the lymphatic system. Uh, so, here I drew uh, lymphatic capillaries. Uh, we'll start by talking about the types of the capillaries and the nutrients and the stuff that uh, they expel. <laughs> so, first is the continuous. And it's going to be a tube like. Uh, it has it's formed with tight junctions for smaller molecules, uh, such as O2, CO2, calcium, and uh, amino acids. And uh, it's found in the liver and the kidneys. Uh, next is the fenestrated capillaries. Uh, uh, fenestrated kind of means like uh, penetrated. Uh, this is for uh, medium sized uh, molecules. Uh, the structure is tube-like with some very small holes. I like to describe it as like uh, toothpick holes. And uh, it's for mid-sized molecules such as blood. And then the third one for the largest molecules are sinusoids. Uh, sinus means pool, so I like to think of it as like a sponge with uh, big holes for uh, absorption. And uh, <clears throat> it's for large proteins and it's found in the skeletal muscles. So uh, the lymph system basically helps bring back the leak nutrients um, to the heart. Uh, if, it, if, you, if it doesn't, if the lymphatic system is uh, dysfunctioning, all the fluids will drain down to the bottom, and uh, diseases such as elephantitis could occur. So uh, here's the circulation pathway. It starts at the lymphatic capillaries. It's going to go down to the lymphatic vessel, which will then go to the lymph nodes. Here is the lymph, lymph, lymphatic trunk, and then it goes to the lymphatic duct, or it will empty through the subclavian vein, which will lead to the superior vena cava, which is above the heart, and uh, all the nutrients will go back to the heart, and the circulation will continue. So that is the circulation pathway for uh, the leak nutrients. So now we'll talk um, about um, a major part of the lymphatic system, which is the spleen. So we go to yeah. So follow us to the models. <laughs> this way. The spleen's right here. If you can see. Get the lighting good right here. All right, so which is the left side of the chondriac region. Yes. It's inferior to the diaphragm, which would be right here, and above the kidney. So if you feel it, uh, so the kidneys right here. Yeah, kidneys right here. <laughs> the largest lymphoid is the largest lymphoid organ, about 12 centimeter, five inches long, attached to the lateral border of the stomach. Its function is like a blood reservoir. <laughs> as a blood reservoir and like removal of old worn out cells. Sometimes referred as the filter of the blood because it's present. Because it's the presence of macrophages and dendrite cells that remove microbes and other materials from the blood. And it's the location of immune responses to bloodborne pathogens. Okay, so um, as you said, uh, it helps. Uh, one of the main functions of the spleen is to help the liver break down the worn out red blood cells. Um, so uh, the liver also <laughs> works <laughs> to help remove the worn out and recycled cells. So if you were to have a splenectomy, you would have to compensate by having a harder working liver. And um, so another question would be, what other organ may take over the function of the spleen? Oh, I know that one, John. It's, I think it's the liver. 
Yep. So they have very similar functions and they help uh, help each other. Um, also, they're <laughs> you could talk about uh, red pulp and white pulp, which is in the uh, lymphatic system. Uh, the red pulp is composed of uh, so the red pulp here I drew it in red. It's composed of uh, red blood cells, uh, and while the white pulp, which is every are these circular regions that uh, contains the B cells, and that would be for uh, immune functions. And yeah, so we all together we discussed um, what constitutes the lymphatic system, where it's located, uh, how it works. Uh, we talked about the spleen and uh, how there's a circulation pathway for all the nutrients that are leaked, and that will help keep our bodies good. So the spleen. <laughs> uh, should be. So, Rainier, what would be? Um, a possible consequence of a splenectomy, which is the removal of the spleen. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, let's see the picture. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Oh, okay, well. Um, let Wait, me let's cut that out. Let's cut that out. No, no, it's, it's fine, fine, it's fine. So, <laughs> subscribe. Hit the like, comment. <laughs> okay, <laughs>